Hello everybody, this is Major7. In this video we're going to answer some of the questions you guys asked and to try to understand together with your help where this channel is going. So be sure to watch this video until the end and if you have any more questions just write them in the comments uh, together with your opinions about what I am uh, about to say. Before starting let me remind you that I have started a series uh, on my Instagram account that is Major7 underscore official where I'm trying to learn how to slap the bass. So check it out. Also subscribe if you haven't already. Let's start with the questions. I am impressed that you picked up the violin and played the song in less than a day. Are you going to keep up the violin? I do love your channel. Are you going to try more new instruments? Thanks Nab for asking. <coughs> Dang it, that was my phone. Well, I definitely want to keep up the violin, even though it's an instrument that requires a lot of practice. And I am definitely going to try new instruments. There are a couple I would like to buy right now, but they are a little bit out of budget. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the right time to come. Great video, you have inspired me in music. How do you learn so many instruments as well? Well, being an inspiration is uh, such a great accomplishment for me. So this is already great. And uh, how did I learn? By practicing, failing, practicing, failing, and practicing more. I started playing the piano when I was six, I started singing when I was around uh, 11, and then I started picking up new instruments uh, when I was around 23, 24. From that moment onward, I would always try to find new instruments to start playing, because simply can't stop it so sometimes I go to gigs to jam sessions and I just play instruments uh, at which I'm not proficient at all simply to test myself and to practice with them a little bit more second 40 what is that instrument wait a second this my friend is a guiro it comes from Latin America my dad bought it in uh, Cuba and gave it to me so I started playing it with a couple of bands. It's basically a pumpkin, it's got these cuts here, so if you pass a stick here, it produces this sound. Right now I'm using a chopstick, okay, yeah, because I've lost the original one. Oh, I've also been meaning to ask what is the song at the end of your videos. Well, thanks for asking, that is uh, Little Creatures by Another Story, that is one of my bands. Uh, I quite often use songs by that band. Right now we are not playing live anymore, we have been playing uh, together for so long and our lives have uh, changed quite a lot during the last few years, but we have recorded a single that we are planning to release uh, probably this spring. Oh my god, you are so good, how did you have the time to make a full song WTF? Epsilus Music is a person that is taking part to Rumi's challenges quite a lot. We've also chatted a little bit outside of these comments on the YouTube, it seems like a, a really nice person. The time to make a full song, I didn't have it actually, I had to find it. Uh, yes, I'm gonna talk about this later, but uh, writing a whole song, making the video, recording it, shooting it, editing it, well, that was quite an effort. Due to Rumi mispronouncing your YouTube channel name, you know you're going to be known as Major 7 FM from now on, right? Yes, of course, I know, I wrote a song <laughs> about it. Uh, uh, anyway, should be Major 7, just pronounce it as you like, it's not a problem for me. I love your accent, where are you from? I am from Italy! Okay, this is in Italian, so I will translate it for you. By any chance, two instruments both in 2011 uh, in Hangzhou or Shanghai in China. Well, yes, this is uh, one of my classmates from university. We were together in China in 2011. Uh, yes, these are the two instruments I've played. The cover I made of what is she. Was it on your first language? Okay, I had a sort of conversation with uh, minor seventh here. Yes, Italian is my first language. Same person asked, uh, so do you still think in Italian or is it kind of a mix between English and Italian? Well, I mainly think in Italian, but sometimes I find myself uh, thinking uh, in English, sometimes also in Spanish, but English is much more common. I think I do it whenever I want to simplify things a little bit because I am quite fluent in English, but it's not my first language, so. Um, from time to time when I, I am overthinking maybe about something, I find myself thinking in English. Whenever I speak in English, I actually think in English. Were you self-taught for a lot of instruments? Well, yes, I studied the piano and I studied singing. I also took some lessons of uh, saxophone from a friend who is actually a saxophone player and uh, for the flute but for the other instruments I simply grabbed them and started to play. Great job, was the Italian a repeat of what was said in English? Well, this is referring to my rap without the letter E, and no, 
huh, one notification by Ruby official. And uh, no, in that song I said some different things in the Italian part. They were quite similar to the part before, but still different. Can someone translate this at second 19? That is the sort of scat I did in uh, the epic battle with Davy 504. It was obviously nothing, but I understand it might sound like some uh, gibberish in Italian. Go vegan though. No. Why do you even go to school? Because I work there. I am a teacher. I'm not even in a relationship. <laughs> that was it for now. If you have any other questions, feel free to write them in the comments. For what concerns this channel, I think it's time to let Rumi's challenges go. I started taking part to them in a period that was quite work-free, but now it's being almost impossible to keep up with everything. That kind of video, even if it's one minute or two minutes, takes uh, in between five hours and 30 hours to make. Considering all the steps between having the idea, writing the song, recording everything, shooting everything and editing everything. And the deadline is generally three to five days uh, after the challenge is launched. Lately I have been thinking about lightening my working schedule a little bit and to try to save more time and energy for making videos but I am a little doubtful about it. I might convince myself to try to do something for the next challenge if you people think I should. So let me know by smashing like on this video. If this video reaches over 100 likes I will know what you think about it and I'll do my best to take part to the next challenge. One more thing before saying goodbye I have been creating pretty various content over time uh, original songs, uh, covers, uh, video logs, uh, so the Tulum series, uh, practicing for a day with a single instrument. I'd love to know which ones you like the most and you would like to watch more of. Let me know this as well in the comments. That was it for today, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if so, tell it to your friends. More subscribers mean that I have less and less doubts about shifting my time and energy from um, teaching to making YouTube content. Thank you all for watching, bye bye, bye major seven. Yeah.